All right, people. I should probably do something else. That's all I do when I start videos, but maybe that's my thing. I don't know. But we are doing a magical, magical thing. We're doing the clutch safety switch because my seat sits kind of far back, close-ish. It's a weird setup for my uh, e-brake. I just put on the likewise shifter extender because I like having my hand go off the wheel directly over instead of down, just how I prefer to drive. And I need to get a short shifter because this definitely has a lot of play, but I may be trading this car for something else. Who knows? Also, I, uh, I bought an STI, so. That's a thing as well. Anywho, we're gonna be doing the clutch safety switch, which is, I should have put on a flash, but right there, as you can see, a little nipple popping out. So we're going to, oh, too far out. So we're gonna be replacing that. We're not actually replacing it. We're going to be, um, why are you not focusing? There you go. I uh, using those paper clips, one of them, to just bypass the connector, pretty easy and straightforward. Um, so let's go there. And pretty easy. I can tell I've lost some uh, some weight from the gym because I can actually get under here with no issues. That is not what I wanted to do. There you go. So it's just that blue clip right there. And this wants to focus. There we go. So it's just the blue part, the white part stays in. That's what she said. Let's see if I can record while taking it. Oh, this is a very sexual video. Um, oh, they put it sideways too. That's not good. Well, I can't even see it. So let's just try to feel it out should be pretty simple normally this is rotated with the clips up top for some reason they twisted it for extracurricular there we go so we're just gonna bypass those two wrap it in some electrical tape tape it here and that'll be it instead of needing to go all the way down here to press it, it still works and everything it's just if I'm drifting and I stall out I'd rather it not um, not have to scoot my seat all the way up and I can just start it right away. So we're just gonna tuck that in there, call it a day. Actually, no, we're not. My bad. We're going to uh, put the paper clip on as a jumper and then put it back there. So let's do that now. All right, so easy enough. No, it's not pretty, but it works pretty much. It is, as you can kind of see in there, it's just a paper clip bypassed into each plug pretty easy and so now we test it clutch pedal is out big ass shifter not in gear key not in ignition let's see throw it over here and if it starts we're happy easy enough so what i'm gonna do now is just uh, tape this a little bit nicer just so nothing is gonna touch it electronically it Doesn't like ground out on a wire or anything like that. Make sure it's all the way in as She said uh, Tape this whole connector pretty much wires as well uh, You could if you want to cut those two wires and then solder them together This is more of a if I want to go back to stock I can so which like I said I may be trading this for something else Which will be if I do you'll see it if not a, you won't see it so I'm gonna just clean this up, uh, tape that whole thing together as one piece, and we'll be good to go. And then we're gonna be doing the pilot bearing, or not pilot bearing, pilot bushing on the STI. Do a little walk around of that. Got the car already set up for tomorrow, which is the Wise Fab Drift event, and I am stock angle, and uh, Fields Coilovers is another one that's running it, hosting it, and I don't have those either. So maybe I can impress them, get a sponsorship or something. So. Let's tidy that up. I'll show you the finished product, tuck it inside, and then we'll do the STI. Jesus, this is bad. Right, so finished product. Nothing crazy. Just taped the entire thing up. And then, like I said, where it was in the first place, I'm just gonna tuck it back there. Uh, can you see that? So just tuck it in, tuck it in. 
You know that's that. You're an OG and you probably have back problems. Just like Glade. Febreze? Was it Febreze or Glade? Oh, no, I'm too old. So, just like that. Tucked back there, ready to go. So, if you want, you can leave it dangling, but I don't want it to get touched on the clutch pedal at some point, or you could zip tie it somewhere else. So, but for now, it works. So, STI time. Alrighty, we are ready to do. I should probably YouTube how to do it before I make a video on how to do it. But, this is the STI. It's so, OA WRX STI Hatch. Some Inky RSO5RRs. Also came with some work uh, motion CR Ultimates, the newer CR Kai's. Super clean, pretty much bone stock besides geez, an intake. Um, interior needs some love, some cleaning done. Um, I got the bash bar for the 350 as well. I'm going to put that on after the track in case I total it this weekend. That bar can get uh, resold. Also, I might powder coat it or just spray the rust remover on top of it and just call it a day and paint it some color. So we'll see. So I'll take that out. But we're going to do the pilot bearing. Not pilot bearing. Freaking pilot bushing for the shifter. Because she do have... So that's in gear. Has some slacky slack. Um... Hoping that fixes it a good amount because I know the stock ones are trash on this. If not, I have to go under the car, transmission, move stuff aside, do all that good stuff. But for now, we're going to try to do this and call it a day. I believe this trim comes up. Maybe. Oh, does this have to come up first, though? Tis the question. Should I try it and break it or just YouTube it? I'm a YouTube it. So I'm glad I YouTubed it. So for the 08s, you do have to take off this little boot, revealing that little screw there. Um, I think it's kind of dirty, honestly. You should probably clean that off. <laughs> yeah. So I'll take off that screw to get the rest of this off. And then once that slides out, this can pull up fully. So little tippy tip. -tip. Alright, so I tried my best to pry this away and uh, make it work, but I had no luck and I don't want to crack it. So I'm just going to not be lazy. Took all the stuff out of here. As you can see, oh, that's Alan over there. Uh, you just take this little thing off oh, you get, and you get free money. So take all that out. I already got money back on my car. There we go. But pretty much it's just those two bolts back there. Might as well take it out. You just need to move it out the way so you can adjust. Let me throw this back in here. Um, yeah, you just need to move this out the way a little bit so you can adjust. Um, Allen bolt up here. Or not Allen. Star bit. Another star down here. So I'll do those two. All right, so those magically popped off. Now you can move this whole thing back, giving yourself more than enough room to move this back. Has clips up here, so clip a clip, clip a clip. You can move this back. Um, I think this goes on this way. Yep, like that. And so now you can move that back a bit. And adjust that out the way. Maybe, maybe not. No. Just take the shift knob off. Take off the, the knob. And then it's under there. So we'll do that now. This is not as easy as I thought. Uh, unlike the GD STIs and WRXs. Um, unclip that and make your life easier. That little white plug there. Yeah, that goes right there. Um, that That's why you can't move it um but anyway so now that that's off we can move that out the way let that hang there and now i don't think this is oem but it's it's in the car um it looks like it's just stapled down maybe it is oem it looks like a super part number i think i don't know any who's um we need to get under there oh maybe maybe it's an upgraded bushing 
maybe or maybe I'm not even doing the right bushings who knows I sure don't oh I took the staple out oops my bad um can I put the staple back in yeah I can okay I think am I supposed to no idea alrighty so either way I think it's there's that one bolt there is there a nut on the other side I'm assuming yes there is so I'm assuming I can just take those out and put them back like that maybe maybe not any who's uh, those are 12s I believe Let's see I think I got those are 12s hopefully the bushings I got are the right one or well, one bushing I'm gonna take that out and up you update you guys all right we're just winging it lift it up we're just doing those bolts knocking that uh we'll take the bolt off taking that bushing off putting the new one in and hoping for the best so two 12s on each side and take it out all right so when the bolt is out that comes out as well of this uh kind of fork now i don't know what all that debris is or why that is deciding to do that but we can take that little bushing out probably should be wearing gloves and this may already be upgraded maybe maybe not if it is then we had a good learning experience take these out I feel like they are upgraded already so let me do this real quick. I am a defeated man I just put the stock shit back together uh, I don't know why the fuck it doesn't fit I don't know if maybe it's for a WRX or the older model but just it it was way bigger than the the outside diameter was bigger than the inside diameter I tried to dremel some of it off on one of them so that's a regular one and i try to dremel that on this one as you can see and just i mean you can see from there the the outside diameter as opposed to that i could dremel a bit more and hope for the best because the front gets in but i don't know it's just not even worth it i feel like at this point and now they look at it, i'm like you know what i could do a bit more and call it a day but i mean it's pretty thin already, but I just put the stock one back in. Maybe I'll. These are from Amazon. I forgot what brand, but I'll link them to not buy them. Or maybe they're for a different car. I don't know. Maybe they're for that WRX and STI is different. But it said, I think, 04 to 15 plus STI. I'm not sure. But we're putting them back together, calling it a day, and driving it. So I'm just going to have a little sloppy, sloppy. Unless I do the shifter on the bottom, which those are at this point seems a bit easier unless you get the right ones for the up top here so throw it all back together don't forget to put that on that'll be it i think i yeah i'll probably do the bash bar after the event with the z because if i total it then there's no point in doing all that work for the bash bar like sure come subscribe and i'll see y'all on the next one